Assalamu alaikum dear students and friends. I hope all of you will be fine and doing very well. So today our topic is the correction that was as asked in the paper of CSS English in the year 2016. So before going to correct these sentence, I'll recommend that you have your notebooks and pencils with you to create your own notes and you will have to write all the rules that I'm going to discuss in this video so that it will help you a lot in your coming days and you can collect a lot of data, data about the uh, rules of English correction and these rules uh, will be very helpful if you are an aspirant of CSS or PMS or any kind of competitive exam pertaining to English grammar. So uh, the very first sentence that we have here is we were staying at my sister's cap skirt vacation home. So dear students if you looked at carefully in this sentence that is we were staying at my sister's cop skirt vacation home. So we come to know that this word caps code has been misinterpreted here as we have double apostrophe my sisters we have possession here but caps code cannot have an apostrophe as it is a proper noun it is the name of any home therefore the apostrophe here in caps code has been written uh, incorrect okay incorrectly so we will have to omit this apostrophe and we will have to capitalize this c cap and also a c of code so our sentence will be correct as we were staying at my sister's cap code vacation home it means i am telling you in order to now ke hum jo meri behan ka cap code nami घर है हमने अपनी जो है वो छुट्टियां वहां पे गुजारी ठीक है सो इट इज करेक्ट नाउ द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस दैट वाज आस्क्ड इन दैट पेपर इज शी रेकमेंडेड मी दैट आई टेक अ फ्यू डेज ऑफ फ्रॉम वर्क सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स व्हेन समथिंग लाइक रेकमेंडेड सजेस्टेड ऑर्डर्ड यू कैन से दैट दीज आर सब्जेक्टिव मूड्स व्हेन वी यूज सब्जेक्टिव मूड्स सब्जेक्टिव moods i cannot explain it here as the video's length will be increased so we will have an a, a separate uh, you can say a separate session for this subject subjunctive moods so after subjunctive moods as recommended is here as subject subjunctive moods so after these subjunctive moods we cannot use any direct object as it has been mentioned here as a subject so for the very first thing that we will have to omit is direct subject so after subjunctive modes you cannot write a direct subject that is uh, being used as a subject in the, uh, the second part of sentence so you will have to omit it the sentence will be she recommended that i take a few days off from work now your sentence will be correct next sentence is i try to explain him the problem but he had difficulty understanding me once again here is uh, a mistake in the use of direct and indirect object i try to explain him if we will translate it into urdu so the translation will be maine प्रॉब्लम आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन हिम मैंने उसकी वजहत करने की कोशिश की द प्रॉब्लम मुसीबत को यानी कि मैंने मसले को उसकी वजहत करने की कोशिश की बट ही वॉन्ट्स टू से दैट मैंने उसको मसले की वजहत करने की कोशिश की सो द डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी द प्रॉब्लम नॉट हिम सो सेंटेंस विल बी आई ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉब्लम देन यू विल हैव टू यूज टू हिम आई tried to explain the problem to him but he had difficulty understanding me now your sentence will be correct okay the next sentence is i'll do the grocery shopping for you grandma lucy said so here in this sentence we can say 
uh, we can see that Lucy is saying something that is uh, that has been used without using that. It means uh, it is a direct speech. So when we use direct speech, so we use commas before it. So the correction of this sentence will be if we put commas on the both side of this part of sentence so it will be i'll do the grocery shopping for you grandma commas lucy said now your sentence is correct okay the next sentence is we took a tent a cooler a sleeping bag so dear friends when we use a lot of things using a comma so it is not necessary for us to use article in each and every uh, you can say piece that you are using in a specific sentence as you have an article with tent and other article with cooler and an article with sleeping bag so you can use you will have to use article with the last item okay so here is no need of this article and also of this article so this article is correct so this article a is modifying all other objects that are being used in the sentence so your sentence will be correct we took tent cooler and a sleeping bag okay now it is correct so the next sentence that we have is i don't know why you didn't go if i were you i should have gone okay so dear student once again here is a mistake in the use of subjunctive mood if i were is a subjunctive mood uh, you can say it is a conditional sentence the fourth type of condition when we use a subjunctive mood are this kind of conditional sentence so we don't use should with the second part after comma here we will have to use would so the correct word will not be should instead would will be the correct word so the sentence will be correct i don't know why you didn't go if i were you i would have gone so now your sentence is correct so the next sentence is kevin says he stopped to travel internationally because of his family so dear students after this word stop we cannot use to infinitive to infinitive we will have to use a gerund after stop stop plus a gerund not an infinitive okay so two should be omitted and it travel must be changed into a, gen, a gerund so it will be traveling it will be traveling so our sentence will be correct in that way that Kevin says he stopped traveling internationally because of his family. Okay, now our sentence is correct. So what is the next sentence? The next sentence is don't run. Mr. Salman shouted. Once again, it is a direct speech. So we will have to put commas before this words on the both side. Don't run, Mr. Salman. And here a comma inverted commas and a comma mr salman shouted so now your sentence is correct do you have any next sentence no there is nothing else so you can uh, see these sentences again and again you can write all the rules that i have mentioned in this video and you can note them down on your notebook so that they can they may help you in your coming so you must have if you are an aspirant of CSS or PMS or any competitive exam so you will have to collect a lot of collection uh, of vocabulary of uh, English correction rules of idioms a uh, use of preposition a uh, correct use of <clears throat> parts of speech correct use of phrases correct use of uh, classes and you will have to do all and uh, all the uh, topics all the items of grammar uh, from basic to advanced level so best of luck and remember me in your prayers thank you